All right, coming in here with the much anticipated Keep Pounding Classic. Independence Patriots taking the field, led by DJ McFadden. Expected to be a state title contender once again this season. And they're taking on the Myers Park Mustangs coming onto the field right here. Uh, Myers Park winning the SOMAC Conference Championship last season. And I, myself, predicted them to win it again this year. We're getting ready to have the teams come out to the coin toss with a couple of very special guests on the field. Presenting Independence, earned all ACC honors at the University of North Carolina and won a Super Bowl with the New York Giants during his NFL career. Please welcome Hakeem Nick. Representing Myers Park, he was an all-SEC performer at the University of South Carolina and played seven seasons for the Carolina Panthers during his NFL career. And today serves as an assistant coach for the Mustangs. Put your hands together for Captain Motherland. All right, we're getting it started. And the independent spring just come out with a bang. Right here, you're going to see you play action. Justin Little throws the deep post to Sadat Grant big play first down Patriots deep in Myers Park territory second play of the game right here Jaden Jones the star running back takes to the outside big touchdown run Patriots take the lead 7-0 and you'll see the momentum pick up from here right here Travis Hill the backup running back on the nice option pitch from Little once again, Little dropping back. He's going to find Jaden Jones out there in the flat with a nice move on the linebacker with a nice gain right there. Now, Little once again in the gun. Quick pass. That's the Doc Grant once again. Getting it deeper down into Myers Park territory near the goal line. But Myers Park will step up here with a big sack on the play. And that's going to force a field goal attempt by... Patriots kicker Lyric Capera from 36 yards out. He knocked it through. Independence is now up 10-0 on Myers Park. Now, Jared Lockhart, star quarterback for the Mustangs, takes a big hit right there. Helmet comes off third down. Big stop right here for the Patriots defense. You see him fired up. Dallas Brandon, Cam Martin up there on the uh, big stop right there. And all the momentum with Independence. They get the ball back. However, there is a fumble. Myers Park does get the fumble, and you're thinking maybe this is a turning point. We're still in the first half. Not the case. Lockhart looks to scramble. There's that Patriot defense once again, dominating. Big 31 getting up in there, celebrating that sack. Now, Patriots back on offense. Here's Little in the gun. Hand off. There's that man again. Jaden Jones had a huge first half. Two touchdown runs, this being one of them from 50 yards out. Over 150 yards on the ground in the first half. What a performance. Then, the surprise onside kick. Lyric Capera. Great job on the execution there. Little now back in the gun. He's going to find Travis Hill right there in the flat. A little wheel route. Easy touchdown. Patriots are cruising right now. 23 yards out. And now the Patriots are going to go into halftime up with a 24 to nothing lead. Now Myers Park trying to get it going. Here's Jared Lockhart on the scramble. He did this a good bit during the game. Sometimes he picked up some yardage as he did right there. But didn't lead anywhere. Now Little. Brian Crowder with a tough catch committed to Limestone. Impressive. But second half, Lockhart rolls out, throws deep. Finds a receiver, Chaz Portis, the son of a former NFL star Clinton Portis, that didn't lead to anything, but you could feel the momentum changing. Now the Myers Park defense comes out fired up. Gets the ball back to their Mustangs. There's Lockhart again. He's rolling out. Throws the deep ball. This is a beautiful touchdown pass to get the Mustangs on the board. There's Chaz Portis. They had a great connection in this game. Pirates Park on the board, cuts it to 24 to 7. Now the momentum is rolling with the Mustangs. But this is an interesting play. Chip pass, the lineman gets it. 
Picks up a few yards. That's a memorable play for sure. But it didn't lead anywhere for Independence. Myers Park still on the momentum. Lockhart with a nice run right there. Setting up RJ Alexander. Five yard touchdown run. Now it's 24-14. Independence over Myers Park. Lockhart, this is a controversial pass interference call right here. A lot of people on the field didn't feel like that was a true call, but it's led up to a deep touchdown pass from Jared Lockhart to Chaz Portis once again for the second time. All right, all the momentum with the Mustangs. They get a big third down stop right here. That's Roddy Dunham getting in the backfield, getting the ball back to their offense. Now, Jared Lockhart finds RJ Alexander in the flat, getting deeper in the Independence territory. They're close to field goal range, but they go for the win. 30 seconds left. Lockhart looking for Brody Keith. Balls tipped and intercepted by the Patriots. Uh, Coach James was asked in the post-game press conference, why did he go for the win there? And he said he's, he has a, a decision he has to live with. And, um, you know, that's the way this game's going to end. The Patriots get the ball back. They kneel it out. And they're going to walk away with a 24-21 victory in week one. And the Carolina Panthers keep pounding in classic. Congratulations to the Patriots.